Now here we are in the third session of my four week intervention of analysis. Um, this video will focus solely on the technique of the performer as he's in an isolated situa uh, situation. This means I've taken the goalkeeper away to take the added pressure off the performer so we can focus on the performer's technique. So, as you can see when we move it forward, most of the factors are very similar during the preparatory phase. However, as you can see, the performer's run towards the ball has a good amount of curvature to it as he starts from here. Starts from here there's a good curve to the run towards the football this will help later on in the video with the lateral rotation of the striking foot so now we move on to the standing foot of the performer as you can see here, he has improved a lot on the stand position of the standing foot in conjunction with the distance of the ball. However, on the left hand side here, you can see that it is still a touch too far in front of the football. As he has improved on the distance away from the ball, the connection will be better this time however we can still improve on this by bringing the foot backwards just a touch furthermore with the pre preparatory phase you can see at the peak of the hyperextension of the hip you can still see here that there is a lack of hyperextension there. As of last week this creates less momentum and less speed for the power of the shot. However, what we found out from last week is that if there is a lack of hyperextension from the hip this could mean that it is more controlled. In contrast it reduces the power, however helps with the accuracy of the shot from the penalty. As we look at the performer's sagittal plane here, the performer is very upright. What we would like is for the performer's head to be around here over the football. This will help with the trajectory of the ball and help keep it down preventing it from going over the crossbar. Furthermore, as you can see on the right hand video here, the performer is still shifting all of their body weight onto the left hand side of their standing foot. This is because of the foot here being too far in front of the ball. The performer is having to twist his hips to be able to bring the striking leg round in order to make a good connection with the ball. Furthermore on this video, as we are focusing on the technique, you can see again on the sagittal plane that the arms are very much in touch with his body. They are not ab ab abducted enough as when they are abducted it gives a body balance and if more balanced the, uh, the performer 
will have a better connection again with the ball. Moving on to the striking foot. This time, in this video, as you can just see here, right here, there is a lot more lateral rotation on this striking foot. This, in turn, has Im will improve the accuracy of the shot and will help the success rate of the performer's penalty taking. So moving on, after striking the ball this time, you can see again that there is a lack of flexion at the hip joint with the follow through. This again in turn will reduce the amount of power in the shot However, in contrast again, can improve and help the accuracy of the shot as the extension from the hip is more controlled. And again, in the follow through phase, you can see on the left hand video here, there is a good amount of flexion at the knee joint allowing his body weight to be cushioned and absorbed whilst taking the penalty. This will help with balance, which again, in turn, helps with the execution phase with the accuracy of the shot. So I will go back just a touch. We will let the video play through. As you can see, the penalty is a lot more successful than last week. Great penalty right into the top right hand corner. This is down to a few factors again. The improvements from last week are the standing foot being closer to the ball and the striking foot having more lateral rotation creating that bigger surface area for the accuracy of the shot. However, again in this video, just like last week's, there are places to improve on. You have the hyperextension of the hip joint at the preparatory phase, as well as the lack of flexion at the hip joint in the follow through phase. However, all in all, a much better penalty, very well improved by the performer.